guys, we're headed out to the garage with all this stuff. I've never messed with this kind of stuff before. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is power up the power supply, power up the K1000. I have all the LEDs and I have the uh, SD card. Open the door, let the dogs out, go in and get some. All right, so now we just need an extension cord of some sort. Aha, uh -huh. that's what we need right there, boys. This looks like an old computer power cord. So here we go. Papa. Uh-oh. Who are you? Kelly. Oh, are you my granddaughter? Yeah. I'm your papa. Yeah. You ready to get started on this project with me? Let's do it, come on. Alright guys, safety first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this extension cord up to this. I'm going to put the camera right next to this and then I'm going to plug the other end of this cord in down there somewhere. So right now we're going to tell Doodle, come on, get up out there, go outside there. Okay. Pop-Up's getting ready to power this up for the first time okay. and uh, it is a, you know, it's either a, a rectifier, amplifier, I'm not sure what it is. But when you're taking 110 volts down to five volts, it's got to do something funny. Uh, so we don't want anybody around while I'm doing this. So right now we're plugging this in to the extension cord. Now you don't have to close the door, buddy. All right, now we're walking down to the other end. And here we go. Here goes the power. Boom. All right, we should have power to our power supply. Now, let me grab my uh, test and we'll see what kind of voltage we have coming off of it. We're gonna move the camera. Oh, we got a green LED lit up here, so that's a good sign. Uh, now we're gonna check the voltage. And we are in AC, we need to be in DC. So let's see what we got here. This should be voltage positive, and these two should be voltage negative. So here we go, guys. This should be 5 volts. 5.26. 5.26. 5.26. I'm tickled to death with that. So with that being said, we're going to unplug the extension cord, and the power is gone from the unit. Next step. Let's hook some LEDs up and a uh, controller. Let's do it. All right guys, so here's what we got. We got 110 plug wired into our power supply. And then off of our power supply, we have a positive coming over here to our positive five volts on our LED strip. And we have them daisy chained through the connectors that they came with from the factory. And then we have the uh, ground, which is indicated on here. Let's see if we can get a zoom in. There is a ground and a data. So we have that hooked into here. So we have power, ground, data, and then we have our five volts coming into our controller. So now we're ready to plug this in. I think we have to put our 
memory card in there first. That way the program will send different colors to our LEDs. I have never done this before, so here we go. Uh, as far as I know, this memory card goes in here. Hold on one second. Oh boy. Memory card is in. And as I said before, we're coming off with positive. We're coming off with data and ground as it's indicated on the strip. We have our five volts positive coming in here and our ground coming from here. I think we're ready to plug this thing in and uh, we'll have you here firsthand. Here it goes, boom. Power here. Looks like we have power there. Uh, looks like we have FFF. All right, so because we had those three Fs, I went ahead and took the daisy chain off. Just, I, you know, there's wires kind of stuck here and there. So we're just going to try it with one roll and see what happens. So here we go. We're going to plug it in. Powering up. Oh, we had some kind of code there before it came on. Let's see what we got there. Nope, no code that time. All right, hold on guys, we'll get back to it. All right guys, so after messing with this for a while, uh, I pulled the uh, SIM card out and sure enough, uh, we had something going on. So here we go. Now it's gonna work, but without that SIM card, 